choppy seas are making it hard for rescuers to do their job on the capsized cruise liner in Italy. On Sunday, rescuers resumed their search of the above-water section, but divers were unable to explore the submerged part, and that's where officials expect to find bodies. We've seen the whole ship clearly. Uh, I was with the Indian ambassador and his wife, so they have come all the way from Rome to uh, see the progress of what's happening and what is to be, you know, what are the actions. Coast Guard divers are concentrating on evacuation staging areas. From the night of January 13th, when the Concordia came too close to land, gashing its hull on a reef. About a dozen people are confirmed dead. Twenty are still missing. Investigators believe a chaotic and last-minute evacuation may have hindered their escape. Special fuel extraction crews are waiting for the end of rescue efforts. The capsized ship is holding nearly a half a million gallons of heavy fuel. Meanwhile, the ship's Italian captain is under house arrest. Prosecutors are investigating him for suspected manslaughter, causing a shipwreck, and abandoning the ship before all 4,200 passengers and crew were evacuated. The captain denies the allegations, saying he coordinated the rescue from aboard a lifeboat and then from the shore. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.